Welcome back. You're live with Express on a beautiful Thursday morning, and it's only getting better. So, 10 years ago, South African born singer and songwriter Lyle Anthony took the entertainment industry by storm when he won at the international franchise talent show Pop Stars. Since then, Lyle has performed locally at the 2010 Soccer World Cup on stages throughout the world, even on stages that I've been lucky enough to share with him. And he has been living out his American dream in Los Angeles as a performer and, yes, as a model. Lyle has now made his way back to his home country and brought a little bit of new music with him, which makes us very excited. He's going to be telling us a little bit more about that brand new song, an upcoming EP, and life on this global stage, How Lyle. How are you doing? Ah, good to see you, man. I feel like we've known each other for a while. A long time. A few um, years now. Actually. You you haven't aged. Um, and so haven't you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, you, you seem to always be doing something exciting every time I connect with you. And I think a couple of South Africans have, have kind of made the... <sighs> the, the, the brave step mm -hmm. of going over to LA and, and kind of making a, a go of it. How has life been like that side of the world, especially during these crazy times, man? You know what, especially during these crazy times, one has to just persevere. But more than that, um, going over to LA and just living out my dream has been really something that's been fulfilling. It's something I've wanted to do for all of my, as long as I can remember. LA has been a place that I wanted to go to. Obviously with the modeling, it started out with, I, I modeled for a, a big underwear brand over there. And then obviously the music, I've just Ooh. been pushing the music. <laughs> I've just been pushing the music. Um, I've I joined a group called Uptown. It's a Motown show and we travel the country doing a Motown show. And then obviously with lockdown, as, as crappy as it's been, I yeah. think it's pushed me to, to pursue my personal goals and, and that's where I am right now with the EP and Love Wins and My Forever, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned Love Wins because maybe that's the message we need to hear right Absolutely. now. Love will, love will win. I, I've got to ask you because, you know, being able to work alongside you in various formats and mm -hmm. just see how professional you are. And I think a lot of younger artists can learn from how hard you guys have worked to, to make a, to stake a claim for yourself. And it feels like you've applied that same kind of mentality in yeah. the US. A lot of people go over thinking, well, I'm gonna get my big break, but you've still got to work so hard. as hard. So hard, yeah, absolutely. How, how tough is it when you go into that space? Is it, does it feel different from the industry here? Or does it feel like, okay, I've got to just apply the same kind of metal that I apply here, there? Right, at the end of the day, I think your work ethic will, will they say your talent's only 20% of what you are, right? And then the, your work ethic gets you to where you need to be. So if you're persevering and you're pushing forward and do, just doing that thing, I think that's the most important thing. And I think more than anything, we need to be pushing for those goals and those dreams. Yeah, man, and we're seeing more and more. I was chatting to an Mzambo on Bata the other day. I think there's a flavor of the month, yeah. uh, month around South Africans in LA at the moment. Yeah. So hopefully um, we continue to capitalize on that. Love wins. A, a lot of artists I've been talking to have been using the COVID kind of lockdown time to write good music yeah. and be introspective, maybe do a bit of self-therapy writing. Give us a bit of background on the song. So, I mean, obviously, um, Love Wins, the message itself just says a lot. I'm a huge advocate for equality, a huge advocate for the LGBTQ community. And more than that, I think on the onset of COVID-19, it, it was a hard time for everybody. People were depressed and sad. And I thought, you know what, get into studio, write a song that people can dance to. And, and also the message, love wins. We need to be spreading that message of love, man, especially during these times people are dying people are depressed people are it's just so important that love needs to win yeah completely man yeah. thank you so much for for spreading that message on a global platform because doesn't it feel like now we are a global village absolutely we've all had the exact same experience of life right 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 um, I, I'm so glad that we've got you back in South Africa. How much longer do you think you're going to be out here? When do you think you're going to head back? You know what? We chatted a little bit off, off screen and hopefully I, I, my passport was stolen. So I'm hoping to get that US visa back in there as soon as, as I can. And then I'm jetting off straight back to accomplish the rest of the, the EP and also just the rest of this goal and this dream. 
Oh, man, I love yeah. it, man. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. Um, sure. I've been asked by my director, who is a lady, and to be so... Oh, um, yeah. to, they said the, the, the abs need to be seen. But, but no, but here's the thing. Because, and I'm being honest here, because everyone thinks that you're using Photoshop on your Instagram account. So please, can you show them that that's, the abs. that's not... Yeah, the abs, please. <laughs> Oh, real baby. They're not oiled up though. They're not oiled up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Tobiso's got some oil back there. We can we can round uh, round some of that up. But he, um, I've always been so impressed by you, Thank even you. more so I now. So happy to have you back in South Africa and in our studio. Cannot wait to get our groove on a little hey. bit later. Ultimately, love wins. Yes. And hopefully that's a message you can take on board this morning. Absolutely. But so happy to have you here. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Mike. Thanks for having me.